हेलो ऑल माय नेम इज अब्दुल रहमान एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड वेलकम टू डेटा साइंस ऑल इन वन वेब स्क्रैपिंग प्रोजेक्ट वीडियो अप टू दिस पॉइंट गाइस यू हैव स्क्रैप्ड अ लॉट ऑफ वेबसाइट्स लाइक विकिपीडिया गूगल सर्च रिजल्ट्स वॉलमार्ट लिंक्डइन एंड फ्लिपकार्ट एंड सम ऑफ दे हैव स्क्रैप्ड इट राइट बट इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्क्रैप ऑल ऑफ दिस वेबसाइट बट इन अ डिफरेंट वे इन अ डिफरेंट यूजिंग अ डिफरेंट लाइब्रेरी So up to this point, we have scrapped the websites like while scrapping the Wikipedia, we used the beautiful soup. While scrapping the Google search results, we used the beautiful soup, and we have used for the LinkedIn, the oh, Chrome Web Driver, and Selenium. For the Flipkart, also we have done this kind of stuff. So we used the beautiful soup, Selenium, Chrome Web Driver, and we also used the Pandas library, and we also used the NumPy library also. so in some of the videos but in this video i am not going to use any of this video i am not going to use any of this library like numpy pandas and i am not also going to use the selenium beautiful soup etc because here we have a toolkit known as py scrappy py scrappy is a python package that provides a fast flexible and exhaustive way to scrap data from a various different sources being an easy and intuitive library so in just five lines of code under five lines of code we are going to scrap a website so let's say that i have opened this video i have opened this video and in this video i have scrapped i have used around i think 10 more than 10 lines of code around something like that but just under five lines of code we are able to scrap a website with a powerful python package data data scrapping toolkit right and that is py scrappy so the reason of the video that i am making this right now this video is because i wanted to show you this library py scrappy so with it you can scrap a lot of website very very easily so let's go ahead and get started first of all guys i am going to create a folder so that is already created i have in the data science and here the web scrapping all in one data science web scrapping all in one i'm going to rename it later on but let's open the anaconda prompt and here we have to copy the path for that now let's come in data science and let's copy the path click here control c and i'm going to paste and cd i'm going to paste the path okay now let's type in the jupyter notebook yes so i got this page open but now here i am going to create a file known as ipy kernel untitled now here in this one first of all you have to install a library known as py scrappy just one library not like selenium beautiful so pure for only just one library so let's type in pip in install py py scrappy pip install py py scrappy and it's going to take some time but remember guys while if you are using the jupyter notebook or jupyter lab if then you have to type the exclamation mark and then type pip install whatever the module or whatever the library that you are installing okay then it's going to work but if i give here if i remove the exclamation mark and run it we are going to get the errors but if you want to install that in the anaconda terminal then you can type here something like i'm going to show you conda install py scrappy you can do it but i didn't test it with the py scrappy but i have done with the pandas library and i have done that with the beautiful soup numpy etc so first of all let's import the py scrappy import py scrappy i'm going to import it and just run run now and it's working which is means it's installed on my computer now here i'm going to create a variable known as a and it's going to equal to py scrappy type it you don't have an option okay so what you have to do is if you see in the vs code if i type a one word like if i import py scrappy and then if i type py s then i am going to get the option for entering that keyword if i type py s and i am going to get the option py scrappy and if i hit press enter then it's going to come but in the jupyter notebook you have to just type py and you have to press tab key on our keyboard so it's going to get something like this now we have the variable known as a and it's going to be equal to py scrappy and dot you have to give 
Now, if I press the tab, I am getting a lot of options like e-commerce scrapper, food scrapper, image scrapper, IMDB scrapper, LinkedIn scrapper, news scrapper, social media song, stocks, and Wikipedia scrapper. I am getting all of these kinds of options. When I click on the sorry e-commerce e-commerce scrapper then i can give here the brackets and i'm going to close it but now you may be thinking that why i have given because i want to scrap the flipkart website right so for scrapping the flipkart website you can do it in another way just i have shown you this one let's comment this out and that is you have to give you something like pi pi scrappy and then you have to type here something like dot flipkart tap it it you have to give the e-commerce scrapper but i'm going to just give here the flip card scrapper or something like that so guys for doing that and i'm going to give here the something like flip card flip card and i'm going to give the scrapper scrapper okay and it's going to work but in the brackets i'm going to give the laptop top comma six and i'm going to run it and just check whether it's working or not Flipkart scrapper is not defined. So here I have done a mistake. So let's remove this. So let's just scrap the Wikipedia. I'm going to scrap this later on. Let's come back here. Okay. okay. Now here what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the Wikipedia. Wikipedia scrapper. So we have the Wikipedia scrapper. Let's go down and let's close here the brackets. Now guys what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new variable known as a1. And or let's give a dot text. I have to give. So I'm going to give the text a dot text, and then I have to give the scrapper. Scrapper. Okay. Now it's going to work something like this, and then in the brackets you have to type something like machine learning. Let's type the. For example, if I open the Wikipedia dot com dot or whatever it is. Now if I search for the machine learning, machine learning. Then I'm going to get a lot of topics like for example when I enter machine learning I'm getting this topic right now here what I'm going to do is I'm also going to give it the machine learning okay now let's run it and let's check with the output what we are getting now from here if you see we have the machine learning ml in the brackets and here also machine learning ml in the brackets now we are getting machine learning is a field of inquiry devoted to understand and build methods that learn that is methods and all of the kind of stuff now we have this one and it's, it's it's also this one right now what i can do is i can compare these two things i'm going to get a open website known as textcompare.com so this is the website from where you can compare the two texts okay now let's come here let's come to the very bottom let's go back okay okay so let's copy this all copy from here to the bottom of this page copy this and i'm going to paste it here and i'm going to copy this one also now machine learning or let's go at the bottom itself let's copy it till here sorry from here let's copy till here and i'm going to paste it and compare it and let's check whether what is the output that we are going to get okay so here we are getting something like machine learning is the field of all of this stuff and it's also entering the down one below this one below this table is copying uh, all of this like overview and all of the stuff that's why it's not showing all of the stuff now let's close this one this one also so it's able to scrap the wikipedia website so it's it is scrapped something like this but now i wanted to scrap the flip card so for that i'm going to give the e-commerce scrapper and here instead of this one I'm going to remove till the end. Okay, a dot. Let's start it here. I'm getting the flip card scrapper. Okay, now in the brackets, I have to give something like laptop, comma, six. I have to give. Now, if I run it, if I run it, I'm going to get, I'm going to get the output, and that is, I'm going to get a lot of laptops, laptops price. As you can see here, I'm getting the Asus Vivo book, and the the main thing if you have seen here is. I have not given here the dividers like uh, under this 25,000 under this price or under 40,000 under 50,000 I have not given the price but it's still showing me all of these prices. 
Okay, so here I am getting their name, their price, their original price, and their description. Okay, like about the for example, let's say we have a phone, and if you go on the Flipkart and search for some phone like Samsung phone, and below that one you are going to get the description where you will be learn about the phone, like how much processor, which processor it have, how many cameras, types of cameras, etc. So here we have also right a rating, and it is. So showing as the 4.3, 4.2, But if you see here, guys, if you see here, you are getting the ratings about four only. You are not getting below the four, right? So that's why. So we can scrap here the Flipkart scrapper also. Also, if I try to scrap the LinkedIn, and I'm going to remove it till the very end, and let's tab it over. Dot. Sorry, this is because here I have not given the brackets. Now, if I come here and tap the rest tab on my keyboard, it's not going well. Okay. Now, this is not coming for the LinkedIn scrapper. Oh, okay. It's coming. Coming. Now, let's give something like LinkedIn. LinkedIn scrapper and let's give it empty brackets and run it. We are getting the job title and n number of pages we have to give. Okay. Now, let's give the, for the job title, let's give the data. Data scientist. Okay, and run it, and we are getting the out error because we have we didn't give the number of pages, and this is going to be the one. Okay, let's give the one number of pages, so it's not working for some reason. So I think I'm not giving the proper number of pages or something like that. Now here with this one, you can also scrap the Google search results. Okay, if I go here, go here and tap press tab, and here the social media scrapper, stock scrapper. Mm, okay, food scrapper. Let's go for the social media scrapper and let's check whether is it going to come for the A dot Instagram scrapper and YouTube scrapper. And I'm going to give you something like the Rahman and below a comma this. I'm going to get only one page. I think I'm going to get the errors. Okay, so here it's downloading downloading the video, but it's at the end I'm getting the out error. But let's check whether in the file is it downloaded the video or not. Let's grab it all in one. It didn't. But while downloading this video, if I rerun it, it's getting this output. Okay. Now, guys, this is how we can scrap and it's showing me a number of pages is missing. So if I give here the social media ins instead of this one, social media scrapper. We can give here the we can scrap here the e-commerce scrapper, food scrapper, image scrapper, LinkedIn scrapper, and song scrapper. We can do this kind of stuff. So if you remember in the previous videos of web scrapping, there we have to write a long number of lines of code. Like I have to import here the web driver, I have to download that, I have to do all of those kind of stuff. But here with this pie, pie scrappy, I have we can just scrap it easily. But the benefit of doing that, the advantage of doing that by writing long number of code is you will learn that how to do web scrapping. You will learn that how each line is working. You will learn that how do the modules work. So this is the way. But if you are scrapping with the PyScrap, I have just shown you this library, this module in the Python because web scrapping with this is pretty much easy. Okay. So with this, you can do a much, lot of machine learning projects like for example, if you want to do the stock prediction, okay, or if you want to do the car price prediction project in the machine learning, then it's pretty much easy. So with this, you can scrap a website. So for doing the predictions, you have to collect a lot of a lot of data, right? So for collecting, you have to search for a time, and then it's going to waste a lot of time. But with this, you can search for the data for the car price prediction. So this is just an example of car price predict prediction. So in a lot of ways you can use it, but I suggest you to use this one and I also suggest you to use in another way like we used to download the Chrome drivers, the Selenium, the beautiful soap and those kind of stuff. So do with that also because you are going to learn that how it is scrapping. Okay. So anyhow guys, that's all for this video. I hope you liked this video, enjoyed watching this video. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you in another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.